Okay, there's a road to Tekoa. Tekoa is a is a biblical town. And you see the red signs over there? What do they say? This road into this area is forbidden for Israeli citizens. So Israeli citizens cannot go in. And then here's the blocks for the temple when they say, oh, there's blocks for the rebuilding the temple. There they are. Look, look, look. Take pictures. You see all those blocks? No, I'm, I'm making uh, light of the fact that uh, the, they haven't stored. They, would, they don't need to store blocks. Those blocks sit at many points for construction. So, but anyway, if you, uh, there are many people that say that they already have all of the blocks cut and stored ready to build a temple really fast. That is not true. Uh, so, uh, turn left, left here. Now. now we're going off the Settler Road into Bethlehem. Bethlehem has three parts. Bejala, Bethlehem itself, and Bet Sahur. This is the southern part, Bet Sahur. Uh, there's a my, my barber is in uh, Bejala, the northern part. That's where the tunnel road is, and here it is, Bethlehem. Okay, let's. Sing a little town. A little town of Bethlehem, how still we see the light above the dreamers. The silent stars go by, yet in the dark streets Maybe it's not a little town now, right? But uh, before I give it back to Bruce, let, we did not pray before, so I'm gonna get, thank you, Lord, that we're here in Bethlehem, the house of bread, and uh, thank you for the getting through the checkpoint. We pray, God, you give us safety. We pray for the driver. Pray for the outreach. We pray for to be a blessing to the people there. Let, let us all shine with the light of Jesus and bring hope and uh, peace to the message of the gospel. Yeah. Thank you. Protect us, use us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This road right here on the left used to go down and uh, go by Harmo Harhoma on the, on the north side. And, and then they opened up uh, that new road um, that goes on the south side. At the time of, uh, uh, the, of Jesus, uh, Jesus' birth, this would have all been uh, shepherd's fields here. And on the right-hand side is the YMCA. The YMCA is one of those shepherd's fields that uh, pilgrims go and, uh, and visit. this in a commentary and uh, I haven't verified it but my understanding is uh, according to Jewish law um, if you lived a long ways from Bethlehem or no if you lived a long ways from the temple uh, you couldn't bring your 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 uh, lamb for Passover all the way down from 
uh, let's say the territory of Dan or or uh, uh, Mount Car Car Carmel or any. So what you could do is you could you could come and buy a lamb uh, and then use it for the sacrifice. But the problem was that the lambs here had to be uh, without blemish. So the lambs that you could buy and the, for the use and the sacrifice in the temple had to be without blemish. So there's a whole industry for raising uh, temple sacrifice lambs in this vicinity. And so those shepherds that were watching the flock, uh, those flocks were most likely des destined to be used in the temple worship and sacrifice that pilgrims would pay for when they uh, came down uh, because it's only three miles from Bethlehem to the temple in Jerusalem. My Peugeot dealership is right along here and uh, it's a regular authorized Peugeot, Peugeot, Peugeot dealership and they have a uh, repair and it's a lot less expensive but Israelis are technically not permitted to come and bring their cars uh, in and have them repaired even though here's a Mercedes-Benz dealership right here I was talking to the manager of that uh, uh, place when they first opened a couple of years ago. He was a Christian uh, uh, manager, Christian Arab, and he said that uh, uh, he, he predicted that when he was young, 70% of this town was uh, Christian Arab, but now it's, it was 70%. Uh, and uh, we have to go. No, 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 not this one, the next one. The next one, not this, not this one. My mistake, my mistake. Same distance. So he said, he said um, uh, that in 20 years, he believed the percentage of Christian Arabs would be uh, almost non-existent at the rate at which uh, uh, Christian Arabs were not in this. Yeah, here we, here we go. Yeah. I can tell you've been here before. <laughs>